Good morning gamers, how do we doing today on this fine evening now? Let's get straight into it guys. Being the god of gaming, now they've written a bible on me, I am in the scriptures, you best believe I am the king of gaming. I thought it would only be right for me to comment on this latest, most iconic video game characters ever created in the world. Now this is an interesting list, we're going to break it down, dive deeper than this, dive deeper than Tom Daly jumping at the Olympics baby, we're going to be jumping far. Oh, man we're gonna be dipping in like skinny dipping at the beach bro it's gonna be fantastic so let's get straight into this if you enjoy it and you disagree or agree just like the video i don't care if you fucking want to or not just do it just do it bitch so of all people the bafta whoever the bafta is done by you know which i'm pretty sure is british british film tv you know what i mean like what do they know about gaming Blah. red flag red flag let's break this down so number one is lara croft now i can't deny that you know what i mean her her dual pistols <laughs> her you know iconic look everything included it's just iconic you can't get over it and you can't beat it and i just you know have to admit that tomb raider is probably you know one of the most iconic i don't think she's more iconic than mario i have to admit maybe for men but i reckon generally if you you know went to some town in every country and you said who do you know here and you showed them mario or lara croft i guarantee they're gonna know mario more but you know that's okay top two still right agent 47 this to me was a bit of a funny one i think agent 47 is iconic obviously because he's got a big bald head similar to someone i know I However, he goes around murdering people and shooting people and sniping people and shit like that. So it's pretty cool, you know what I mean? He's a hardcore geezer and one I actually really fancy and, you know, enjoy to uh, have a cup of tea with, certainly at one point in my life. Is he more iconic than Sonic? Hell no, dog. Put the pipe down and do it, really. Like, he's not more iconic than Sonic. Sackboy, like, you know what I mean? Sackboy was only on one console. Who's played Sackboy in the last 10 years? You know what I mean? Like, they bring out once a blue moon just to, you know, have a, a game that releases on each plate when each PlayStation releases because they haven't done it, you know, got enough to release with the game. It's one of them quick, quick, shitty platformers that I always download when it's free, you know, free to play on like the PlayStation Pro or whatever they call it. And they're always boring. And I know they're for kids or whatever, but it's iconic. We're dealing with iconicness. It's not iconic. Pac-Man, to me, Pac-Man's got to be top three. You know what I mean? Pac-Man, bro. And the reason he's iconic is because, yes, he came out 50 years ago, but I reckon if I went up to my grandma, um, RIP, she's no longer here, but if I went up to my grandma, she'll know who bloody pac-man is more than most people on that list maybe mario i don't know though link i give that link's got to be up there bro link is an absolute icon he's one of them people you know when you're younger you don't know if it's a girl or a boy if you don't know if he's called zelda because you don't know what the fuck's going on in the stories as you get older you realize link's a cool dude but a massive penis master chief yeah you know what i mean he's definitely up there i have to admit he's he's a very iconic guy the armor the guns the enemies you know the covenant whatever you want to say i love halo i have to admit halo reach was one of my favorite games i love that shit and everyone knows who the master chief is and unfortunately they fucked up the tv show because they're donkeys and don't know what they're doing kratos interesting one for me i wouldn't call you know i think kratos is great i love the games would you call him most iconic character of all time I don't know. I don't know. Shadowheart. This this one actually blew my bollocks off. This one actually made my head implode. I've, I've, I have to admit, I've not played Baldur's Gate. It is on my list, but it's one of them lists where, you know, you want to have like a week off work so you can just sweat it and not even think and just absolutely... Who is this bitch? You know, I've not played the game. She's not iconic. Iconic to me is if you went up to someone and you go, you know who these guys are. It's like, yeah, I know Tomb Raider. I know Pac-Man. Of course I know Mario. Of course I know Sonic the fucking Hedgehog is. Who knows who this chick here is? I, don't get me wrong. I can't wait wait to play the game and it looks amazing and it looks right up my street but it's something I want to sink into you know like watching Game of Thrones you've got to give yourself like a month of doing nothing but sweat it because you want to get engrossed in it and I just don't know who she is you can romance her though <gasps> ah Ah, say no more, I'm downloading it quickly. So yeah, I completely disagree with that. Let me know in your comments. Do you think she should be there? I don't think so. This one, Arthur Morgan. Now, let me let me give me cards out on the table straight away. Arthur Morgan is my favourite video game character of all time, if not one of my favourite media characters of all time. Top two, top three media characters of all time. I love it. I'm actually playing Red Dead 2 at the moment. I bought it again on PC just to experience it because I wanted to see it at 90 frames, you know what I mean, looking gorgeous. But how many people know who Arthur Morgan is? And I know it's sold like 50 million copies 
Ortiz, and I get that, definitely, definitely. But do you honestly think Arthur Morgan is more iconic than Pikachu? And I love Arthur Morgan, he's my favourite, I can't explain to you. I spend hours just hunting, spending time as this character who I love, going around getting haircuts, letting my beard grow, hunting animals, you know, robbing people, saving people. I love this guy. But is he, he's a lot more iconic than Pikachu, man. Iconic is if I went up to my father, who's played nothing but like Vice City and Croc when I was a kid or something, and might have played a bit of FIFA when I didn't even know which way to shoot. You know, he'll know who Arthur Morgan is, to be fair, because I speak like a cowboy every time I play this game, and I play it at least once a year. It's like, you got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. Yeah, I love Arthur Morgan, but he's not more iconic than Pikachu or Minecraft. Steve, bro, he's a square. How do you forget who Steve is? Solid Snake, I like Solid Snake. I played um, quite a lot of the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. I didn't finish it. It's good. It's fine. But is he as iconic as Crash fucking Bandicoot, bro? And who's made this list? Don't get me wrong. All these characters are epic, insane, so cool. I love them. I love Lara Croft's ginormous pistols. Do you honestly think Pikachu is not more iconic than these lot? Like Agent 47, Sackboy, um, Kratos. You know? Anyway, Crash Bandicoot should be higher up. He's a he's a let you know, he's a PlayStation icon. If someone says to you PlayStation, I guarantee, you know, your top two or three answers is Crash Bandicoot. Cloud Strife, Final Sun Fantasy. Who the fuck is that bitch? Or man, or they them. I don't fucking judge. Um look, I've not played a Final Fantasy because I'm not a weeb. <laughs> I'm joking. I've heard Final Fantasy is great, but I'm just not really looking to get into. I don't know if this is a turn-based one, but I don't really like turn-based games too much. I usually have space in my calendar for one a year, and that's usually like a Pokemon or, you know, Baldur's Gate when I eventually get to it. Who's this bitch? I don't know. Astarian, another Baldur's Gate. I know who this guy is because it's that blonde bitch, but, you know, this game came out in 2023, bro. How can you be iconic when you've been out for like six months? And Ah, oh, well, he was in Baldur's Gate too. Was he? Were you the only idiot who knows that, so shut up. Yakuza, mate, mate, mate. I suppose we're getting to number 18 where you're sort of running out of ideas, aren't you? But Nathan Drake's got to be higher than Yakuza, surely. Ellie Williams, look, I love The Last of Us, bro. I fucking love The Last of Us. But I'd personally say Joel's more iconic. Me personally, I would say Joel is more iconic. I would say Joel is a more iconic character than Ellie. Maybe, I don't know, actually, now that I've said that out loud. Um, ah. I don't know. I, maybe I'm lying about that. Maybe Ellie, because she is just in a t-shirt. You know, when you think of The Last of Us, you picture little Ellie in a t-shirt, giving you a high five, you know what I mean? Because she fucking crossed the bridge together. Nathan Drake, fantastic character. You know, if I went up to me dad, went up to me nan, it wouldn't, you know, he's probably his last. I'd, I'd give you that. I'd give you that. So who else should be on the list? Well, I don't know. But IGN are going to tell me very quickly who the... Fucking hell, they started at 100. you start at 100, just tell me who number one is first, bro, I want spoilers. And then they'll do this where you get to like nine. Oh, right, so Zell, Link, yeah, Link was in there. I see, Mario, Mario should be higher up in my opinion. Portal, what about the Portal Bros? They're quite iconic. Metroid, not sure I, iconic's the right word. Red Dead Redemption 2, Arthur Morgan, like I said, I think he's a, uh, my, well, I know he's my favourite video game character, I love him. Also, Fallout, that has apparently got good reviews, I'm going to be watching that, don't you worry. I'm up for Arthur Morgan to be up there, but I just don't think he's more iconic than Crash Bandicoot, mate. The Super Mario, GTA, you know, I suppose, ugh, there's too many characters in there in GTA to have an iconic one. Um, Geralt of Rivia, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're telling me Geralt of Rivia is not more iconic than Nathan Drake? You're telling me Geralt of Rivia is not more iconic than fucking Baldur's Gate freaks? You're telling me Geralt of Rivia is not more iconic than fucking the weebs who play Final Fantasy? Like, are you smoking? Are you doing something illegal? Because I will report you to the FBI for your stupid opinions. Bioshock, you know, Bioshock. Easily could have made it up there. Half-Life. Half-Life, you know what I mean? That's a big game, bruh. Big game. Metal Gear was on there. Doom! What about Doom, man? Like, Doom's hugely popular back in the day, and now it's made a resurgence. Person. Who the fuck is this? Doom, bro. I think Doom might have, should have maybe been on there. See, Steve, I think, should have been higher. Um, my love. My darling. What about Leon? No Resident Evil characters, you're telling me, make that list. But fucking Baldur's Gate, oh bro, don't even. The Dragonborn. The Dragonborn. Every Star Wars character ever, you know. Counter-Strike, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. We killed him, and then we go home.
That's what it should have been on there. No Overwatch, I don't think. Maybe Tracer, do you think? Tracer, I think if Overwatch 2 was as good as the first one, an Overwatch character would have been on there. Dishonored 2, I love Dishonored. Fuck me in the butt cheeks. Batman. Batman Arkham should have been in there. I stand by that strongly. Agent Price. Wait, no, Sergeant Price. Reporting for duty. Do you like me bucket hat? Everyone knows that bucket hat. Everyone knows that bucket hat. San Andreas, CJ. Ugh. See, there's loads. It's a hard list. But going back to that, I guarantee Cloud Strike shouldn't have been in it. No. Yakuza, really? You know, I could have think of Doom. All the other ones I've just said that I've forgotten. All of them. They should have been in there. Anyway, my opinion's much better than this, guys. I hope you appreciate it. Let me know yours in the description. I want you to tell me your top three video game characters of all time.